Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have TMW Don't GG Me versus Evil Mermails, and this has two matches in it, and both of them are $50 money matches, so it's $100 altogether, and also make sure to check out the Discord called the Coliseum, that's where these uh, 1v1s and Iron Mans I've been posting have been coming from, so I'll leave a link to it at the top of the description, and let's hop right into the video. So we are going to go ahead and see don't gg me win the rock paper scissors shoe and then they will go ahead and decide and we can see 40 versus 40 gotta love to see it and then they're gonna go first looking at the opening hands we have imperm ash tanky thoroughblade and d shifter so this is pretty good you know even going second they'd have multiple hand traps plus like a zoo and then they have eva idaton imperm diviner and nova so they do have an imperm going second which you know they can use it on like a dryden to stop it they're gonna go ahead and tanky go grab whiptail then summon thoroughblade go for hammer kong then chaka nine then dryden then go ahead and set imperm then pass play draw draw and lockbird it's not going to do anything in this matchup and then they're going to imperm dryden then activate Nova. They're gonna let that go through. Bringing out Alpha. And then drop D Shifter there. And then normal summon out Eva. And then go ahead and battle phase attack. And it is at zero. Well, not zero. It's at 100 because of Tanky, but it doesn't have the 16 boost because of the Imperm. So they go ahead and take 400. And then all those get banished because of D Shifter. And then go ahead and poke. And then main phase two, go for assembled, and then they're just choosing to pass here. That's a little bit interesting. I wonder what their extra deck is looking like. Uh, every Drytron player has been playing like a different extra deck right now. There's no like set and standard extra deck, but they could have went into Zeus if they wanted to, because an XYZ did battle this turn. And then pass, draw reborn. Maybe they were trying to play around like strike. I don't know. Because like this could have just been striked. I'm not sure though. But they draw reborn. And then they're going to go ahead and normal summon out. Whiptail, go for hammer kong. And then battle phase, attack assembled. And then, you know, affect the banish it. Uh, they're using the effect on itself. But it doesn't matter because it gets banished. And then go ahead and go for Tiger Mortar, Borbo, and then Zeus. And then go ahead and pass turn, draw Ben 10. So, you know, they don't have any Drytrons here, which sucks. They're going to normal summon Diviner. And then go ahead and use that effect. Chain Imperm, go ahead and negate it. And then pass turn. They're going to go Zeus, wipe the board at end phase, and then draw Desires. And then activate desires, go ahead and banish 10. So this is cool because we'll get to see what's in the deck. So we see that Cosmics, Pankratop, Strike, Order. So kind of looks like the the normal Pierzu build. Uh, it does get hit with Droll there. Then they're thinking here, they're going to go ahead and Reborn, bring out the Whiptail. Then slap Chalkanine on top of that, Chalkanine effect. Go ahead and bring out Whiptail. And then summon Drill. Switch to attack and then go battle phase. Go ahead and poke. Getting some really good damage in there. And then main phase 2. Set strike. And then pass turn. Draw Delta. So they do have a Drytron now. They're going to get rid of Ben 10 for Delta effect. And then they're going to chain Psalm Strike. And then Ben 10 effect chain Ash. And then they admit defeat there. So they do lose game 1. Uh, said why not play dragons I guess because it's more predictable though it's the better deck maybe yeah I mean you can kind of I mean I don't know if you know him or not but I, I'd feel like they'd be playing dragons but you know Drytron's not oh we can see Drytron choose to go first this time around but Drytron's not like bad it's not like overly good right now. Um, shout out to Joseph Gray who commented on my YouTube channel. Uh, he said that the deck will probably become the best deck once it's optimized, which 
And I I don't disagree with that. Drytron is a very strong deck. Like the the cards itself, like the Drytrons are just so good. Because like, you know, there's turn one, turn two, like you can play forever with the cards. And then they can push through boards. Uh, they have turn ones that are really good. I, I don't think the deck like is bad. I definitely don't think it's bad. Um I think I, I don't know exactly what I think. I think that a deck like Tri Brigade Zoo is like almost at its peak and a deck like Drytron is like down here and like when like optimizing decks is what I'm trying to like calculate here. And I think like Drytron could like easily go past Tri Brigade Zoo. I'm not saying Tri Brigade Zoo is like a super bad deck, but like it's not it's not crazy. Uh, combo is usually better than control, especially when it comes to like real life tournaments where like you have 40 minutes uh, and like you know decks that can burn or gain life points have like an advantage, which you know this deck has Natasha. But looking at the opening hands, we have Strike, Ash, Thoroughblade, D Shifter, Thoroughblade. So you know they have a few going second cards here. And then they have Diviner, Foolish, Nova, Ash, and Eva. So then they will go ahead and start off with Diviner, activate the effect, change E Shifter. And then you still send, correct? Yep. Yep, it is like that. They're going to go ahead and send Orange Light. And then pass turns, draw Dark Ruler, and normal summon out Thoroughblade, and then go ahead and turn that into a Hammer Kong, Battle Phase, Beat Over Diviner, and then go ahead and main phase two, make Chaka Nine, Tiger Mortar, and then Zeus, set strike, and then pass turn, they draw Draco Noids for turn. Then they'll go ahead and activate Nova, chain Ash Blossom to negate that, then activate Foolish Burial, go ahead and dump Alpha. And then Alpha Effect, they're going to chain Psalm Strike to that, it's pretty big. Pass, draw Ram Ram, and then they're going to set Dark Ruler, go ahead and Zeus, and then this is just game, Summon Thoroughblade, and then go Chalk Nine, Effect, bring back out Thoroughblade, slap La Drill on top of that, switch to Attack, and then Battle Phase, go Poke for 71. So, that is it for the, the first match. But now going on to the second match. So currently, Don't GG Me has won $50 and Evil Mermails has lost $50. Uh, but now moving on into the second match, we're going to go ahead and see Evil Mermails win the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot. That's pretty big. And then they will go ahead and decide to go first. And looking at the opening hands, we have Reborn, Order, Desires, Rat, and Ram Ram. So they have no going second cards right now. That's not a good sign. And then they have Foolish, Zeta, Idaton, Ben 10, and Eva. Then they're going to get rid of Ben 10 for Zeta, bring itself out. And then they're going to use Ben 10 effect, go grab Orange Light. They're not using Zeta to search there. They don't want to play in the Droll. Uh, that's one thing like you always want to think about is like, how can I play around Droll while still comboing? And if you can do that, you most likely should. Because like you don't want to get smacked with Droll. And now they have like a way to play around Hand Traps. Then they're going to go ahead and Foolish, and that's going to dump Delta, and then Delta Effect, or wrong guy. So they're going to go send Alpha. Alright, fair enough. Said, so that's fine, no need to Shark here. Like if it was Emptiness June or Nick or somebody I don't like, I'd probably Shark that, but you're chill. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> go ahead, get rid of Idaton, bring out Alpha. And then go ahead and search from the deck to the hand. They're going to add ultimateness. Said, ew, Idaton. Ew, zoo monsters. And then go ahead and overlay for the rank one. And then go ahead and use that. Dump ritual spell. And then they're going to add back ritual spell with its effect. And then activate ritual spell. Bring out Idaton. Idaton effect. Add back ritual spell. Said, how can you summon that? Uh, ritual. Well, the material has 2,000 attack. No, you can. They're gonna call judge or something. Oh, no. All right, yeah. So add back. And then go ahead and activate ritual spell. Detach. Bring out ultimateness. 
then they're just gonna pass turns. So, you know, playing around roll, the end board has, well, you know, they could have four if they want to, they could banish the Benton, but multiple interruptions here. Then they draw into desires. They're gonna go main phase, activate desires. They should have shuffled their hand. You should always shuffle your hand. Cause look, if you go here, they didn't shuffle their hand. They know that the top deck was pot of desires. So now they know that like the top deck was a live draw and not something like a hand trap. It's just it's always good shuffling, trust. Go ahead and banish, and then they're gonna ultimate negate that. Looking at the banished, we see a few going to second cards. They did keep in cosmics. A uh, little bit interesting why they kept in cosmic. I feel like you could keep in like one maybe or like keep in order just because like Mystic Mine is a thing in this deck. A lot of people are starting to side deck it in Drytron, but I don't know. Go ahead and activate another Desires because the activation was negated of the first one. Then they're going to ultimate this negate that. So now we can see half of the deck here or over half because we can also see like the hand and the Desires. And then Evo Effect will go ahead and banish, and then grab Orange Light, and grab Diviner. Then, they're thinking, yeah, they can't play around this, because, like, Normal Summon, XYZ, stop, Reborn, stop. Yeah, they just submit defeat. So now, going on to the next game, we are going to go ahead and see the Zoo player decide to go first. Looking at the opening hands, we have Anti-Spell, Ram Ram, Imperm, Tanky Ash, so this is pretty good. Uh, cards like Anti-Spell uh, against Dratron are pretty popular because, like, one trap card, like a, I don't know how to describe it, like, an Imperm versus them. Like, this card's rather strong in the XYZ, but, like, they can keep pushing to where, like, this just stops all spells, which is rather good. I, I uh, don't know, it's kind of weird in this deck. Just because, like, they could have, like, two level ones, you're forced to pop, or, like, a symbol could come out, but then, like, they have Imperm here. But, obviously, this hand should be good. And then they have Nova, Imperm, Twin, Instant Fusion, Twin. Never mind, they have Twin now, Anti-Spell. And then go ahead and activate Tanky, and that's going to grab Thoroughblade from the deck to the hand. And then summon it, effect, get rid of the Ram, and then draw into C. So that's good. Even though anti spell is going to go, they'll still have C. And then go ahead, Tiger Mortar, Effect, equipping Ram Ram from the graveyard, playing around Imperm, and then go for Dryden. Set Pass, and then Draw Phase, anti spell, or Standby. And then they're going to Chain Twin, hit the back row. And then go ahead and activate Instant Fusion, pay a thousand, Chain C, bring itself out, and then they're going to bring out the Millennium Eyes. And then activate Nova. They're going to chain Ash Blossom. Said, if you're thinking Murr, you can't. Or thinking Millennium. I mean, you can. Uh, if we read over Millennium Eyes real quick. It says, once per turn, when your opponent activates a monster effect, quick effect, you can target one effect monster your opponent controls or in their graveyard. Equip that target to this card. So, you don't have to equip the card that was used. That's, that's what I'm trying to say here. Because the Ash doesn't go... Ash goes to Banish Pal and not Grave. They can still use it, though. They... Yeah, they just don't understand, like, what's happening here. That like, you can use this on anything. Yeah, they're going to chain the effect, target Dryden, and then chain Dryden Pop, but this will still go to Graveyard, or Banished. Or they don't know that ruling. Wow. Um. So... Unless if it's like changed or something, which I don't think it has. Um, if you use like Millennium Eyes or Thousand Eyes Restrict and you target something and they chain to like out your card, then the Dryden still tries to get equipped and it just goes to grave. Uh, well, Hero get banished. So, fairly certain it's the same. I mean, you can target one effect monster your opponent controls or in their graveyard, equip that target to this card you control. So. Yeah, it should just be the same. Yeah, so this should be going. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I don't think I am, though. Uh, but past Ryan's high spell, I mean, that's kind of huge. If it was how it 
I just set it and the Dryden should have left because then they wouldn't have had anything here. So, kind of kind of sucks to see. I could be wrong though. Uh, I'm gonna check after this match. I'm fairly certain though the Dryden should be going to graveyard or banished because of that. Then go ahead and switch switch, and then battle phase poke with twenty one and then fourteen set anti spell pass turn draw Eva and then they're gonna go ahead and flip anti spell and then imperm target Dryden and chain it. Uh, detaching the Ram Ram. Then moving on to the next game, we will go ahead and see the Drytron player decide to go first. Looking at the opening hands, we have Imperm, Strike, Macro, C, and Droll. So they have many going second cards, but no Zoo. And then they have Orange Light, Eva, Zeta, Ultimateness, Alpha. Oh, yeah, this hand's nice. That hand is definitely nice. Get rid of Ultimateness, bring out Alpha. And then they will go ahead and grab Ben 10 from the deck to the hand and then drop draw and lock bird, chain orange light, negate that, and then Eva effect, banish orange light, go grab orange light, get rid of Ben 10 for Zeta, bring itself out, and then they're gonna grab Ritual Spell off of Zeta, Ben 10 effect, go grab Diviner, and then overlay, go for the XYZ, and then use that effect. They're gonna chain imperm to negate. Then it looks like they're thinking here. Said hard, sorry, they're gonna activate ritual spell. So we're gonna get rid of that, but they're gonna be chaining C, so it's gonna end up being banished. So they're just summoning it back to their board. So, alright, so they're just gonna get rid of the beta, bring out the ultimateness. And then Ritual Spell still gets banished. Said, still, wait, thinking still before I take that off board. What do you mean? You already sent the monster, means you're resolving. How are you thinking mid chain? I haven't took it off board. Um, I mean, I, I guess. But like, you already Ritual, you know, chain's already resolving, so this should be banished. They already committed. No, I'm not. Uh, I think it is. Calling judge. All right, we're just gonna skip forward. And it looks like all right. So they have to summon, and then pass turn. I don't. I mean, were they thinking about orange light negating that? I don't know. But pass, they draw Dark Rulers, so they still don't have a zoo here. Draw Alpha. And then they're going to go ahead and normal summon out Diviner. Activate the effect. Go banish Orange Light. Switch. Beat over. Is there a point of like summoning this? I don't think that they knew that it was going to get banished. Yeah, because that was just like a completely useless normal summon. So that was definitely a misplay. Draw Ash Blossom. And they... Still don't have a zoo monster. Draw emergency. Uh, that's only when it's summoned. Oh my gosh, imagine if this was once per turn. Just like send. I know it would like never come up. I mean, it'd come up right here. Go ahead and activate emergency. And then go ahead and grab gamma from the deck to the hand. And then flip macro. They're going to chain herald. And then chain strike. Negate that. Then that that should be banished. Then go ahead, Diviner, attack Ash. Then pass turn, draw draw and Lockbird. And then pass, draw called by. And then switch to defense. Where's the zoos at? Oh my gosh. Pass, draw Idaton. Like it's literally just game if they draw a zoo. And they just can't draw a zoo. Get rid of Idaton for alpha effect. I feel like you could just like strike that. Yeah. And then draw tanky. They're gonna go ahead and activate that. And then now we'll go ahead and grab a zoo. So it's very good that they drew a zoo there. And then go overlay for Hammer Kong. And then Chalkanine. And then Dryden. 
end phase, pop diviner, pass, and then draw field spell. And then they're gonna go ahead and activate field spell, change ride and out that, pass, draw whip tail. And then they're gonna normal summon out the whip tail, go for hammer kong, and then go battle phase, attack with 13, main phase two, make Zeus, and then pass turn, draw twin, and they don't have anything. Yeah, draw rat. And then switch to attack, special summon drill, and then battle phase, brr, uh, deal 55 and they only have 54. Yeah, they're just submitting defeat there. So that was a 2-0 in matches for Don't GG Me. So uh, they did win $100 here. We saw Zoo beat Drytron 2-0 with a really weird game three. Like, I don't even know, like, what that judge call was even about. Like, honestly, I have no idea what that judge call was about. It seemed kind of weird to me, to be honest. I, I didn't really know. No idea. But, oh, uh, this build of the deck, like the Cyber Angel with the Draco Noids, I feel like this stuff's going to be more popular. I was looking at deck profiles of people that did top and like do well and also people that didn't do well like i watched uh team samurai on jesse cotton on how he was only running ultimateness draco noids and ben 10 and i also saw like andreas torres how he was playing like the full package which is what i'm playing right now it's cool to see multiple people playing different lists uh, multiple good people playing different lists testing the stuff out trying to feel like what's most optimized or optimal uh, no, oh, it's kind of cool. Also, like, Jesse was main decking, like, three Lancia. Uh, Andreas was main decking one. I don't, I don't think I'd want to main deck three Lancia this format. That's, that's just me, though. Uh, I know it's, like, a fairy, which is, like, very good. Obviously, you can ultimate this. You can orange light with it. It can help protect your turn ones as long as you have orange light. Uh, but, I don't know. It just seems very iffy. I mean, it's not, like, that great of a card versus like half the decks but i don't know i'll try it out uh i already tried it out prior and i didn't like it but the format has changed a lot in the last like week people are actually becoming like good with these decks now which is good you know obviously the cards come out people become better with them more testing they become better right now with tri brigade zoo i think i'm 13 and 0 with it in rated uh, it's not like I'm playing against like the best players or anything, but it's not bad. I, I definitely know the deck's not the best deck or anything. Control just is not as good as combo. But again, like I said at the beginning, make sure to check out the Discord down below the Coliseum where the Iron Mans and like these wagers are being held. Uh, if you want to check that out, go check out the description. And with that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day.